Hello guys, this is Hyun. I'm Korean living in Seoul for my entire life. Today's topic is about social issues in Korea. I chose this topic personally. I believe getting to know something in details is equal to learning concerns of it. There are many emerging issues every second in Korea, and today I picked three major social issues about Korea. So in this video, I will focus on three major social issues about Korea. In my opinion, they are very important and big challenges. At the same time, before I started, since there are like social issues, what can be issues? Issues are generally bad things. I'm a bit worried about giving you guys bad image of Korea, but just to be honest with you, I just want you to understand deep inside about Korea. So here are things that I want to talk about. First, real estate. This is very big issue. It might be nature. In capitalism, the price of goods and services are rising steadily. But here what's happening in Korea, the real estate price are just or not just double but triple in three years in Korea. If you take a look at this chart here, in four years it's almost double since this is just average there, triple and like four times more depending on the house location. So now people tend to say there are two groups, first who owns the real estate and the other who does not own the real estate. Those who live in western country might think it's not a big deal since it's casual for people to rent a house. But owning house has a such a big meaning in Korean. You might say why? I cannot explain the decent reasons for that. It's in our DNA. For an example, when you get married in Korea, this is kind of man's duty to buy a house. And when I was young, my mom used to tell me, you gotta buy the house, you gotta buy that house, this house. You need to keep saving, saving until you reach the core, buying a house. That's, pager, that's very casual thing, probably almost every Korean continues to hear in their use. It's a disaster for those who, of who like dreamed of getting a house some days. The Korean people, especially young Korean people in my generation, 20s, 30s, have lost their one of major dreams that they had to accomplish. Eventually, people used to save money for house. Now they're like just buying Gucci and Prada. And people used to save money for buying house. Now they're traveling all around the world. It seems like the old traditional all the Korean traditional wisdom is diminishing now. The wisdom is like save money and buy a house. Second, low employment rate issue. There are few statistics for your information to talk about low, low employment issue in Korea. Around 70 high school graduates choose to go to university. Most of people take going to College is just a thing to do naturally since then after they graduate with some degree they start to look for decent job. Here is the thing I'm not talking about whether it's good or not. The fact is that it's not just possible for all of university graduates to get white color jobs, you know, in social structures. Those who face difficulties in finding white color jobs cannot simply give up. Most of them, they just don't know their alternative routes except getting a white color job. Because of that, they're just trying very hard to study for whatever bar test. And still only a few of them get what they want. And every year, there are many of new fresh, fresh graduates. That's what's happening in Korea for low, low employment. On top of that, to explain low employment issue. This is the birth rate of Korea. There are two major baby boom in Korea history. First, after Korea War. Second, Korea War generation had a baby. Now, second baby boom. I belong to say second baby boom generation. There are so many manpower in market. You know, the simple rule, supply and demand, so man, so so many men and not enough jobs. That's what happens now in Korea. Uh, third issue, 
low birth rate issue. Do you know Korea has the lowest birth rate in mankind history? You see the statistics here? Uh, what I just told you is that the reason of second baby boom is because of first baby boom generation. You might think that second baby boom generation might bring up third baby boom too, right? Naturally. But what's happening now, no third baby boom, but just bomb. There can be many reasons to bring up this result. I believe first and second issue I just talked about can be two major causes. What can be expected from this Korea population is declining. In this part, this is only based on my theory. The three major components of countries are people, sovereignty, and territory. Losing population is a big problem, and I, and I believe Korean government won't just let it happen. What can be their plan? First, for more foreigner for workforce. Korean government started to make more foreign worker easily accessible to Korea. Let's take a look at the proportion of current foreign workforce in Korea. Here. You see China is number one, Korea, Korean government has close relationship with China. It's not just because we are close to each other physically. China has a, such a huge proportion in our economy. Korea economy is based on manufacturing, especially semiconductors. Around 25% of total national export comes from China. China is very, very important buyer. So letting China workforce in our country will make our buyer, I mean China happy. More workforce comes in than politicians should make them happy for both. Some, somehow, someday, I believe we will raise sovereignty issue in near future. That's my assumption. I'm not sure about whether there will be country called Korea like 100 years later. So this is a pretty big issue to be dealt with, but since it's getting harder to make a living for ordinary people, it seems like there is no room for thinking about these issues, but not just me, but everyone in Korea. So today I have talked about first real estate, second low employment, third low birth rate issue. I tell you guys these are all my personal view. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit the like button. If you guys want to see what I'm doing on a daily, check out my Instagram. You want to see more Korean things. You want to see more daily live videos. I have uh, so much more, com more to come. So if you want to see any of that, hit the subscribe button and the bell button. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.